Well, Frank, I can't believe there's only two more weeks of the college football season. Where did the time go? Regular season goes fast in college football, faster than ever, particularly for the Gator fans. They can't wait till it's over. It's going too slow for them. Oh, absolutely. Florida, they have no, another very tough test this Saturday. They're against Mizzou, which is having a remarkable season. Yeah, I think that the story for the Florida Gators are get through the season without losing that recruiting class. I mean, here's the reality of the Florida Gator football season. They are struggling to win games. They're going to lose recruits. They've already lost two. They need to get to the finish line. It's a team that's really struggling. They're playing a lot of young players. A lot of the veteran players are gone. And Billy Napier has to find his way. He's probably going to have to make some changes in the offseason with regard to coaching staff, offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator. But right now you need to get through the season. They're going to be a heavy underdog against Florida State. They're already a heavy underdog against Missouri. It's going to be a tough game for them to win. If they could steal one somehow, some way, and get to a bowl, that would be gigantic. But I don't think so. I think they're going to they're going to end on a losing note. He's got to somehow, some way, keep that recruiting class together and not get blown out because they're a heavy underdog. I don't see them beating Missouri. I think Missouri's going to put one on them. I really do. The other thing that you have to kind of be mindful of is hopefully no Florida Gators that are currently on the roster that have right. done well-ish for the team leave. You know, the transfer portal, that is a scary thing at the end of the season. Well, that's the other problem. That's a very good point. Not only do you have to keep your recruiting class together, you need to keep your players there. Now I'll say this. They have a good culture. I don't think Billy's lost the team. I think they like him. I think they trust him. I think they play hard. Last week against LSU, they were out of gas. Jaden Daniels had the gigantic game. I don't think it was lack of effort. I just think Florida's got a lot of young guys who are used to playing high school seasons, and they've gotten beaten down a little bit. But you're right. You've got to keep somehow get through this season without it all blowing up. Help is on the way, but you've got to get through this year somehow, some way. Well, this weekend, the SEC championship was announced. It's going to be Georgia and Alabama going head-to-head -head once again for how many times now? Yeah. Uh, Georgia, another tough test for the SEC opponent. They're against Tennessee. I got to tell you, I thought a couple weeks ago this would be a really tough game for Georgia. This mm -hmm. might be the hardest game. But watching Georgia last week lay it to Ole Miss the way they did. I mean, they really put it on Ole Miss. And Tennessee was awful against Missouri. So this game that looked like it was going to be such a big game in the SEC East, the last year of the East, I don't think it's going to be a good game at all now. Tennessee will hang around early because it's at home and they'll have that crowd, and it's a great crowd in Neyland Stadium. I don't think anyone's going to get Georgia Alessandra. I think they're that good of a team. I don't think it matters who they play. Alabama may be the, give them the best test, and then ultimately I think they're going to play Michigan. But, boy, Georgia's good. Georgia's good on all fronts. And just about when you think maybe there's some weak areas is when they, they, they bow their neck and come after you. Georgia is a really good football team. Carson Beck's played at a great level as well. Good luck trying to beat Georgia. I think they win easily against Tennessee. And I didn't think that all, I didn't think that all along. Now I do. I remember in the beginning of the season, we thought Florida State Miami was going to be a good matchup. We were yeah. just like Tennessee Georgia, and then we saw the game, yeah. and it was a little, little, you know, it was good. But Florida State is just really good. Yeah, I think this though. I think Miami hung around more than I thought. Miami really played without a passing game. They played the freshman quarterback who didn't do much. Tyler Van Dyke came in at the end of the game uh, when the freshman got hurt, played okay. But the bottom line is uh, Miami had no passing game. I thought Miami played with a toughness in that game. I was impressed with the Hurricanes. But you're right. FSU is really good. The concern I have for FSU is have they been tested enough? It'll be interesting to see when they go to Florida. Florida's not very good, but it's a night game in the swamp, and those people will be going crazy like they always do with the swamp. So that'll help the Gators. I think Florida State wins out, and I think they win the, division, win the league with a 13-0 record after the championship game. But will they have been tested enough? These SEC teams and Big Ten teams are more tested than they are, and that's the question I have. But FSU keeps winning. Bottom line is right now just keep winning the games, and the Seminoles have been able to do that. All well, this week. Some good matchups. Next week, though, is my favorite week yeah. of the entire season. Rivalry, it's kind of like Christmas for me. Yeah, me too. I can't wait. Get through this week. Uh, Florida tries not to lose again, which they probably will. Yep. Georgia plays a game that I thought was going to be tough, but won't. And then Rivalry Week a week away. Well, I'm excited next week to talk to you about Rivalry Week. But two more weeks of the season, Frank Frangie. Thank you so much. And that's it for sports.